Yeah, buddy. Muscle food, power body, protein, lots of food. Hey, what is up, guys? So, we have just got a delivery from Power Body and Muscle Food. So, we have lots of food, lots of protein bars, and we're going to do an unboxing right now. So just to preface this, basically Muscle Food said to me, right, just pick a bunch of stuff around about 75 quid's worth, whatever you want. So I basically went for everything. So rather than doing the kind of like selfish thing and just getting like loads of chicken, loads of minced beef, which I use all the time, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to try out a load of things that I've never tried before. So that is what we've got. But first off, we have... A muscle food chicken korma protein pot with rice. I'm guessing it's like a posh pot noodle. Like posh protein pot noodle. Say that five times fast. Posh protein pot noodle. We also have some high protein crunchies. I really want to try these because I love cereal. We have a beef bolognese with pasta. This is a bee animal protein meal thingy. Another like microwave meal thing. I just want to try these out because these can be super duper convenient. So I'm hoping that this will taste quite good. And these are a little bit cheaper. I'd say a lot cheaper than the meal prep companies and stuff like that. So interesting to see what that's like. Now this I am massively interested in. Milk and white chocolate slab with protein balls. Now it says on the front, Source of protein, so I'm guessing it means it's got fuck all protein in it. <laughs> per 100 grams, and this is 100 grams, 500 calories, 32 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. I'm actually super deep surprised at that. That is quite a decent amount of protein, so I take it back, and that looks amazing. Look at that. This is interesting. Snack fish. So if you've heard of, well, you would have heard of, like beef jerky and things like that, and turkey jerky. Then this is basically the fish version. So I wanted to try this out because it intrigued me. So it's skinless and boneless cod fillets, which is freeze dried. And yeah, 50 grams. So interesting, high protein, low fat. Does sound good? It doesn't sound good. No. Charlotte's not convinced that the no. snack fish. No? <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> Okay, so I think that is all the dried stuff, so we're going to go to the... That's a lie. Go about these. Salted caramel pop shots. Salted caramel flavoured milk chocolate with sweeteners. So per chocolate, 69 calories, 4.4 grams of fat, 2.2 grams of carbs, and 2.5 grams of protein. So not a significant source of protein, but these look really, really good. We've got a scrounger. Now on to the other food. Low fat pork and apple burgers. So the low fat... Pork sausages are amazing, so I have very high hopes for them. Ah, oh, yeah. Gluten-free ginger date and chocolate rolls. There's four of these. And yeah, these look really good. These look amazing. I'm not, I've got to admit, I'm not a huge fan of ginger unless it's in sushi and like oriental cooking. Holland and Barrett pick and mix crystallized ginger is the worst thing you will ever eat. Uh, but yeah, they look good. Talking of sausages, we do have some sausages. Pulled pork style sausages. So I love pulled pork and I love muscle food sausages. So I'm hoping these are going to be good, but they don't really look like pulled pork, but whatever. Muscle food high protein dough balls. Oh. Interesting. 12 Wagyu beef meatballs. So Wagyu is a type of beef that is supposedly amazing. It's not 100% Wagyu beef, but these are a lot more convenient size than the big ones. We normally get the giant ones and then just basically cut them up and roll them into smaller balls. So these look good. We have some muscle food, low fat protein cheese. Charlotte actually said yesterday, ah, oh, we haven't made a pizza in a while, but we didn't have any cheese for it. So we have some cheese. We also have two pure beef rump steaks. So muscle food have just released their like pure beef range. And I'm not sure if it's just they're like super duper low fat or they're better quality or something, but they're supposedly better. And I've got to admit, I'm not a fan of their normal rump steaks. So I'm hoping that these pure beef rump steaks are a little bit better. We've also got a pork tenderloin. So I mentioned that my pulled pork is my favorite meat. I say my pulled pork, just pulled pork in general is my favorite meat. So pick this up. So hopefully we'll make some pulled pork or some sort of porky goodness out of that. And last but not least, 500 grams of deli sliced pastrami. So that is gonna go amazing in those sun-dried tomato and panini rolls, I imagine. 
going to make a massive deli roll. And that is a muscle food order. So all of this stuff, apart from... No, I'm pretty sure all of this stuff I've never had before. And that's exactly why I did it. Because I just wanted to try everything and hopefully give you guys some reviews of some stuff that you may not normally get. So I'm going to be reviewing this over the next sort of couple of videos and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Okay, and second unboxing of the day is from Power Body. It's like little mini Christmas. This would actually be a really good Christmas. If someone just gave me food and protein bars, I'd be a happy man. This one's gonna be a little bit short because I think I know what's in this one of it. So we have Reese's peanut butter miniature cup things, sugar free. They are not calorie free. Let's have a look. Servings per container, two. 180 calories, 13 grams of fat, 27 grams of carbs, three grams of protein. Sugars, zero. Sugar alcohols, 20. So that is basically why they call it sugar free. But it's pretty much the same, but I think these were like £2.50, so why not? We then have an Olymp Boom Bar chocolate flavour. So this is just a tiny little bar. I wanted to try this out. I think I've got two of these. I have a high whey protein bar. Haven't had this before. Haven't had the Boom Bars before either. So a vanilla flavour. They had like lemon or like blackberry flavour or something. So just standard vanilla. Some whey coffee. We have another one of these as well, don't we? Yeah. But now we can double up and have it in protes or something. So we have this whey coffee thing. And then we have a box of cookies and cream Quest Bars and a box of chocolate chip cookie dough Quest Bars as well. So all stocked up on food, all stocked up on protein bars, even though I'm going away next Friday and not going to be at home for basically a month. So December is looking to be an indulgent month. But yes, as always, any new products, I will do some sort of review, whether it be on YouTube or Instagram or on my website. So you get for being a greedy bastard. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that tastes amazing. To be fair, I wouldn't recommend these. Only based on the pure fact that one, you're going to eat all of them. And two, you're probably paying over the odds for something that is sugar free. But it's basically the same thing, right? You can't polish a turd. And because we are greedy, impatient little piglets, we are going to have... One of these salted caramel pop shots now because they're just teeny weeny little ones. <laughs> okay, here we go. Muscle food, salted caramel pop bite. Pop shots. Pop shots. See how it is. Cheers. <laughs> For some reason, I was half expecting it to be like gooey on the inside, but it's actually just like pure solid chocolate. Okay, so each one of those is 69 calories, mm. and it's really, really good. Like, I really enjoyed that. Mm. I would say, though, that, so basically what they've done is they've obviously got chocolate and they put, like, the salt in the top. I found it a bit too salty, and I know it's supposed to be salted caramel, but I'd rather be the salt kind of be blended in with it, because I found that when it hits your tongue, it's, like, just salt and then the sweet, and it kind of, I don't know. It's almost, like, really overpowering salty and then sweet rather than a combination of the two. But that's being really, really picky. Now, it's obviously not going to be like buttery smooth like galaxy chocolate. But to be fair, for something that where you want to like reduce cravings or something like that, these would be very, very good. And 2.5 grams of protein. Score? Nine. I, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I quite like the saltiness, then I like my salted caramel over the top. Okay, so 9 from Charlotte, 8.5 from me. Well worth a buy. So after all the food tasting, I was well and truly ready for a session in the gym. And this is my first session back after the squat every day. So I didn't really have a program or anything. And I was with Nick Walsh. And we just kind of mucked around and just did a few bits and pieces in the gym, really. And I knew that I was going to India uh, the week after. So I didn't really have anything planned. So just did some decline bench press. 
and then we moved on to a pulling movement so we did a pushing movement first and then a pulling movement second moved on to the chest supported kind of bent over row thingy uh, i like this movement just because i find i can get a nice squeeze in the back and you don't have to worry about your hips and legs moving around and all that jazz and then we moved on to another kind of pushing movement or fly movement so kind of for the front of the body so we're going front back front back so we did some chest flies machine flies to be honest i don't really like this machine but nick wanted to use it so we did um i just find it aggravates my shoulders a little bit i don't really get that much of a squeeze so i much prefer pushing movements and stuff but did it anyway and then we did some lap pull downs but i've got to film it or some high rows and then we moved on some arm stuff so we did some biceps some triceps and then some lateral raises which made me look massive even though i'm not as big as yeah, and that was it. And then we moved on to Anando's. Sunset Burger. It's got like pie. Nando's Sunset Burger is awesome. Now I usually get like a medium or, no that's a lie, I usually get hot or extra hot, but I went for mango and lime because they had like a, it was like a sweet and smoky pepper sauce. Oh my God, it's amazing. It's like properly sticky, but yeah, it's epic. I did check out the calories and it was like 600, just over 600 calories, quite high in fat, like 26 grams or something, but it is very, very good. And I had that alongside the quarter chicken because I got it for free on one of the rewards things. Didn't have any veg because I'm being a salad dodger today. Don't know why really. Babe, what do you think? I thought it was the best Nando's burger I've ever had. Best, oh shit. Best Nando's burger ever. Now they have the churrasco thigh burger. That is very good as well, but this takes the cake for Nando's burgers. But I'm very, very intrigued by this fish jerky. Charlotte is not convinced at all. I'm not convinced by room temperature fish. Apparently room temperature fish is not the one, but I'm very, very intrigued. So I want to try some of this fish jerky. Now, if you've ever had salt fish, I think this is going to be very similar. So salt fish is like, they have it in like Caribbean, like jerky kind of countries. So yes, it is. Snack fish, low fat, high protein, no preservative, preservatives, high in omega-3s. Per 100 grams, this is 50 grams, is 338 calories, 1.9 grams of fat. Nil carbohydrates and 80.2 grams of protein. So there's 40 grams of protein in this entire pack. And I'm going to try some right now. Very smelly. Do you want it? I'll try some. So she wants to try some. I'm not convinced, I'll, I'll but she wants to try mine. some. Can't have it all. Alright. Can't have it all. Well, well, you can't have any of it. I can't, I can't open it. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. That is it gonna stinks. Make, is it going to make the flat smell? <laughs> oh, that smells. That really smells. It's like eating salty paper. You're not selling it to me. That is pungent. <laughs> okay, so I've had two pieces. This is probably going to be my last. I'm taking a big bit because I'm hoping it's going to be meatier. What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy this. <laughs> Do not buy this, okay? I can smell it. It's like seeping into the flat. That is disgusting. I'm going to triple bag it, that's gross. Like I, oh. <laughs> yeah, don't buy that. So as you know, I am a cereal taster. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Two out of ten. <laughs> and now I am a cereal taster. Um, so yeah, we've basically decided that tonight, because we had like Nando's at like six and we usually eat at like half nine, we're kind of like, well, what do we do? Like, we don't know what to eat. So we're basically just going to try everything. <laughs> so I am now trying, in a very small bowl, because I don't want to get fat, and I want to try a little bit of everything. 
high protein crunchies. So these are the maple pecan high protein crunchies. Per 100 grams, 35 grams protein, 55 grams carbs, 3.4 grams fat. So like most cereals, very low in fat, decently high in carbs, but quite a lot of protein. And I have to say, these are amazing. These are really, really good. I mean, it just tastes like cereal, but nice and sweet. I would give it an 8.5 out of 10 because I love cereal. And last but not least, we have these gluten-free ginger date and chocolate rolls. Now, I didn't buy them because they were gluten-free, but they didn't have like a non-gluten-free option. Um, but yeah, they look good, but they smell like bread. And I know that sounds like a stupid thing to say, but I was kind of expecting them to smell a little bit sweeter based on the fact they are date and chocolate. But we're going to cut this in half, toast it, and then have it with our yolk bowls, which are currently being constructed by Charlotte. Okay, so sofa taste test of the chocolate date and ginger rolls from Mossel Food. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not getting a whole lot of chocolate, date or ginger. No. It tastes like bread. I love bread, that's fine, but... I've never really had gluten-free bread before, so I can't, I don't really have a comparison. It kind of tastes like what I imagine gluten-free bread would taste like. I'm trying to work out what you'd have it with. Like, because you obviously wouldn't put, like, meat in it. No. But then I don't know if you... What... I don't know, it's, like, it's think, not like a sweet bread either. I think normal people would have it with, like, butter. Normal people. <laughs> when I've eaten it, so... It's better than the fish. I'm a bit nonplussed by it. I give it a six out of ten. It's not unpleasant, but I was expecting better. And gluten free doesn't tend to have the best macros because they have to replace the gluten with like fat and stuff like that. So Right. Done.